This is a podcast by The Straits Times. Welcome to Asian Insider, a podcast series by The Straits Times. I'm your host, Nirmal Ghosh, and I'm particularly gratified to have as my guest today from Jakarta, one of Southeast Asia's most distinguished diplomats, Dr. Marty Natalegawa. Dr. Natalegawa, thank you so much for joining me on, Ash- on Asian Insider. Welcome. Thank you very much, uh, Panirma. I'm, I'm really uh, grateful and pleased to, to join you. Thank you. What are your hopes in terms of best outcomes from ASEAN this year, you know, with Indonesia holding the chairmanship? And are things moving in the direction of a good outcome? What, what are your hopes? Well, I mean, Indonesia's chairmanship of ASEAN, well, there is chairmanship and there is uh, leadership. Uh, chairmanship is something that's uh, procedural rotation based on uh, the application of alphabetical uh, principle and it's Indonesia's turn to chair ASEAN. But uh, in, in decades past, in years past, whenever Indonesia chairs ASEAN, uh, we've also been in, keen to ensure it, that it's not only the fulfillment of, uh, of uh, procedural uh, responsibility, convening meetings, and, and, and etc., but actually uh, project uh, an exercise of leadership that has an uh, impact far beyond the ac- actual uh, chairmanship year. Now, I'm not sure uh, to what extent going by the, the seventh month that we have had now of Indonesia's chairmanship, uh, I have not seen just yet that type of systemic uh, uh, impact, uh, potential mm-hmm. impact that Indonesia has, has introduced. Uh, whereas the, uh, the one that we don't actually necessarily plan for uh, such as developments in Myanmar, the South China Sea, uh, Code of Conduct, etc. These are the unknown unknowns uh, developments that are, that are out there. Uh, even those are not uh, necessarily uh, gaining traction and substantive progress. So uh, unless something profoundly significant occurs in the remaining part of the year, uh, going by the test of uh, beyond the chairmanship relevance, uh, I'm 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 struggling to find uh, what is the basic 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 uh, change here that Indonesia is 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 promoting. So, I mean, uh, this is the time. <laughs> you know, things are happening mm. at a, such a, a fast pace, and and yet the way the modalities, the way ASEAN is working, is almost like uh, I I don't want. I may be too harsh in describing it, but it's almost like uh, business as usual. Uh, this is a time when I think ASEAN leaders, ASEAN ministers must get a grasp on, on issues and define the, the challenges that are uh, before us and, and come up with solutions. But so far, uh, I'm a little bit underwhelmed, to be honest. Yeah. That was a podcast by The Straits Times. Send your feedback to podcast at sph.com.sg. Find us on Apple, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or via the Google Voice Assistant and Amazon Alexa-enabled devices. For more podcasts by The Straits Times, The Business Times, and Money FM 89.3, you can also download the audio by SPH app. That's A-W-E-D-I-O.